What is up, you guys? Vega Bros Gaming here, at it again with another Pokemon match. Today we have uh, Blaziken GX versus Unknown. Uh, Blaziken GX is piloted by my brother on the left, uh, Unknown by Tristan on the right. Uh, we are gonna have one heck of a match here, guys. It's gonna be RNG versus who? How high? How hard can I kick you? Um, this should be a really, really entertaining match. Uh, don't forget, guys, to leave a comment, uh, like, share, and subscribe. Uh, let us know. Give us some feedback on how we're doing. Do you pardon the glare in this video um, and the setup? I wasn't here to direct it, so you know that happened. Uh, maybe you can forgive us. You know, donate a like so we can actually hire some directors. But without further ado, here are my brother. Here's my brother and Tristan to commentate the video. Thank you for that long introduction, my brother. Hopefully you're doing well. How about yourself, Tristan? How are you doing today? I'm doing quite all right. It's been a week. It's been a while. All right, so let's go ahead and introduce our decks. I am the Blaziken on the left side. And I am the uh, Unknown on the other side. Alrighty, so I believe I opened with the Alolan Vulpix and the Tapu Lele. I am so sorry, guys, that my cards are kind of half cut off. Um, the camera adjustment was kind of a little iffy on that part. Yeah. All right, so my first shot was I was basically ultra balling into something. I can't really see that glare though. Ooh. <laughs> uh, yep. But anyways, yeah, I had to search for a certain card. I believe it was Shining Lugia. And uh, yeah, I couldn't attack first turn, so I pass it on to Tristan. Right now my goal is to get some more Pokemon and draw as many cards as I can. Right now I'm either looking for Sand Shrews and Sand Slashes. Unfortunately, I'm unable to find Sand Slashes till like halfway in the game though, so... Oof. My, my big engine is uh, not doing too well. Which, uh, with Sand Slash, it allows me to just draw a card again. Yeah, he got lucky on those coin flips. So he he got heads, I can't do nothing. So all nope. I can do with Vol Low and Volpix is Beacon. And you know, that happens for a while. And yeah, now it's, it's back to Tristan. It's not much engagement in the early game between these two decks right now. Yeah, because we're both trying to set up like really early, but that's like almost every deck though. Yeah, I power pad to get both my uh, supporters back into the deck, Ooh. and I'm just drawing, drawing, drawing. See, there's a multiple coin of flips. Coin of flips. <laughs> I can't English. There's multiple coin flips here. Yep, and, the Victini uh, allows me to redo a coin flip if I yeah. like to. I can see why my brother was getting uh, a bit salty about these coin flips, the RNG based. Yeah. So right here, I just alone Volpix two Combuskins because I had the two Torchics in hand, set them down, set up for next turn. Yeah. And yeah. yeah, with the unknown deck, there's no damage done. Like, you don't do damage at all. Yeah, as he said in his deck profile, you want to have all 35 cards in your hand. Well, technically 37, 37. for the set setup. Want to do, have 37, you drop the unknown, you play Switch, then you win the game. Yeah, but uh, we will see the results in the end and see who won. I mean, I'm pretty sure we all know, except for the viewers at home. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright, so here I have all my Combuskins, still can't really do nothing. I have Shining Lugia, Tapu Lele, and Alolan Vulpix in my bench, just in case you couldn't see. But, you know, one of those Pokemons is actually clogging up my board, and I was not too happy about it. Yeah. Here I'm just looking for another, for a Sand Slash, just, I need to get Sand Slashes onto the board. And Oof. maybe the uh, Shining Celebi to allow me to use Defense Curl once I yeah. evolve. Yeah, I never really played this deck too much uh, against Unknown. This was like my first time playing against it, so I didn't really know what was going on. But right here, Shining Lugia, I believe was MVP this game because I had him since the beginning of the game, all the way until the end, I believe. Yep. Cause I remember seeing that big boy all the way. Yeah. Oof. All right. So whose turn is it? It's your turn. It's my turn. I'm deciding what. You knocked out the uh, sand true. Unlucky coin back. flip, I believe. Yeah. Cause I switched. Mm-hmm. And then I just drew cards and then just kept on doing the uh, yeah, defense here, girl. Here I was looking at the big teeny ability. I was like, like I said, I never played against this deck, so I don't know the abilities. So he Guzma it up just to knock it right out. Yep. I didn't want that second chance, man. I just slapped down another one. <laughs> uh, play a Whitney. I believe I just drew a card from it. Hey, man, a card is better than nothing. But from, I, coming I, from I, a supporter, I, though. Oof. Yeah. Eventually, Whitney will draw me seven. And then here you will see multiple coin flips that failed. 
that, that sucked. <laughs> Uh, Some of them landed on the floor. We just counted those. We were just yeah. like, you know what? Let, let's just keep going. Yeah. All right, so right here, I was trying to think, how can I get over the Sandstrew? Because Victini's on the board. But honestly, I was trying to go for the uh, Rangaroo on the on the top over there. So uh, was this the match that you had the energy on of it? It looks like it has energy on it. Yeah, it has it. energy on it. You were waiting for me to knock it out. Yeah. I finally got a sand slash. I nice. think I put the evolution on the wrong spot though. Oh no, I didn't. I didn't. Bench. I, I, bench. Oh, he, oh, you got I three. I top decked it. I top oh, decked all three. of them. I drew one, put it on it. I did the uh, sand slash ability to draw another one. Celebi too. Which I Oof. found another one. Evolved it. Drew again. Evolved. Drew again. And got Celebi from it. So, so I'm like, hey. That was that's your good. turn to go. That but was your unfortunately, turn. the sand slashes came in too, too late. late. Mm -hmm. If I had them earlier. I probably would have secured the game. Sorry for the spoilers, though, but... <laughs> it's all good, man. It's all good. We're just here trying to have some uh, trying to have some fun here. But uh, it got to be kind of annoying to get lost every turn. Yeah. Oof. All right. So this is my turn. I, I believe I was kind of confused as to what I was trying to do. Oh, I'm lucky coin flip, I believe. Since yeah. it got knocked out. Yeah. But yeah, as you can see, Shining Lugia with three energies, it has an attack that does 60. But if the opposing Pokemon has an ability, it does an extra 60. So That's a lot of damage. Yeah, that's 120 for just three energies. That's pretty cool. But then he has four energy attacks and 130, and you just discard an energy. Yeah. Which is kind of convenient for this deck because you want to discard energies. Yeah. Because I have one baby Blaziken up there. If only I had another baby Blaziken, I think that would have been better. But... You know, beggars can't be choosers. Yeah. All right, so I see Tristan trying to do a pal pad. I'm I'm arranging back the uh, pal pads and looker back to the bottom of the deck. Oof. How many prize cards did you have by the time? I don't pick up prize cards. Oh. <laughs> I, I forgot. don't knock out. Okay. <laughs> oh, I forgot. <laughs> oh gosh. Yeah, here I'm just missing two from now, and as you can see, it's kind of getting a close match. Thing closer, but the thing with unknown is it doesn't run any. Your unknown runs one GX. One GX, and it's just and the aversion. You use it for its GX attack, which allows you to pick up your uh, your Pokemon on the your side of the board, and every card attached to it, so it like fills up your hand quite a bit. And that's pretty good for the unknown. But unfortunately, since it is Grass type, it plays against weakness, so I was never able to actually use it. Without giving up two prizes. How much HP did it have? It has just enough for you to knock it out with uh, Baby Blaziken. So 180? Yeah, 180. Ooh, that's unlucky. Yeah. Man. And if I had the Choice Band, oof. I mean, the Choice Band wouldn't matter. Yeah. Well, you I mean, had, if I had, had 200 weakness. HP, the Choice Band would have been like uh, 210. Yeah, but. Oof. Tough luck, though. Yeah. I mean, my deck does hit pretty hard. As you can, guys can see, I'm using Lugia all the way, going downtown. Yeah, you're using the Shining Lugia in the uh, Blaziken deck. Yeah. It's like how I used Hoopa in my Noivern deck. <laughs> Some interesting oh, matches. Man. It really is. So Trishan runs the two decks, Noivern and the Unknown. Two gimmicky decks. Yep. And I believe, uh, are you going to set out the next brackets? Why? What's the next brackets? Is it Dark Deck and... Uh, I don't remember. I don't remember. I don't remember at all. I don't remember either. But uh, you will you will see next week's match. Don't worry, guys. If all we right. upload on time, <laughs> I'm not I'm not too sure about uploads. I'm not in charge of that. Uh, wow. Never have enough faith in this, huh? Sometimes I do. Sometimes I don't. Oh gosh. I know I don't have any faith in my decks anymore after uh, these matches. Alrighty. So it kind of it kind of looks like we're coming to a close end because I see our boards are kind of well. Your hand looks kind of thick, man. It, it is looking quite big, but on the top I can barely see any cards in your deck. Yeah, I think it's I kind of have... looking very slim. Yeah, and I have two prize cards. Oof. And then I pal pad for the two Guzmas again because 
Guzma's my weakness. Guzma's, yep. Even if I get the uh, the heads, he could still Guzma up a Pokemon and knock it out. No problem. Yep. So, honestly, that's what I was looking for. And with the power of... I don't think I had any uh, draw support, right? No. I don't, I don't think you had draw support. Except for Swampert and the, the field spell, but I didn't yeah. have it at the time. Yeah. Right now, this game, at this current point, is relying on... Uh, on just coin flips. If I land a heads, I have another chance. Yeah. Or if I get that Guzma, you know, and go or, both ways. Yeah. You buy yourself another turn, or I can steal that turn. But unfortunately, here I don't think I got those those heads. They both were tails. Yeah. Sometimes fifty-fifty chances, man. I mean, I guess it's better than. I don't even have the. Uh, the cell will be on board. Do I have memory energy? I'm not too sure. <laughs> yeah. Well, anyway, it was a good game, though. Yeah, I pick up one prize. I think this is going to be the last prize. And, uh, yeah, I believe this is going to be GG. He couldn't pull it off. Sorry, Tristan, that was a good game. Yeah, got close. Yeah. Real close. Well, alrighty, guys. That was game one. Blaziken took the victory. Uh, it'll be back to you, my brother. All right, guys. I will be signing out. See you guys next time. Holy hot tamales, guys. What an epic match. Blaziken coming out on top. Congratulations to you, Daniel, for uh, taking it away in round one. Tristan, better luck to you in round two. You were one turn shy. I could feel it. You almost had the win there. Um, guys, click the links on my left and to my right to see the deck profiles. Click the link in the middle to subscribe. Uh, also, don't forget to leave a like, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Vega Bros, signing out.